much. I just want to ask you a question before I start. What's the meaning of life for you? What is it that you want out of life? Because life is for living. As we live life, every single one of us are going to go on an adventure, an expedition. And each one of us are the explorers in our own lives. We dream, we dare, we do, and we try to achieve. And at the end of the day, believe it or not, that is our legacy. What I have found is that life isn't a rehearsal, it's a performance. So if you have a dream or goal in life, just actually go for it. Now I know as I look around here today, each and every one of us are dreamers. So what I do know is I'm in good company because I am a dreamer. I had a dream. In actual fact, I had many dreams. I left school to become a millionaire and my trade was that of a bricklayer. I came from a working class background and we didn't have a lot, like a lot of people here. In actual fact, we were poor. But I was ambitious, I was hungry, and I was driven that our family would never actually need again. That was my goal. My critics and my community that I came for said, and I know to say to you too, don't be stupid, impossible. Who do you think you are, a bricklayer? You're too young. I chose to ignore the taunting of my critics and actually go for it with a passion, a conviction, and a want and need to do so. Well, I proved them wrong. By the time I was 21, I had succeeded in achieving my goal. I was successful. I had all the trappings of wealth, the big house, the flashy cars, and indeed more money than I could ever think about. I had reached the summit of the peak. I thought that was enough, and I didn't have any further dreams. And this is what happens to a lot of us at times, right? I was so wrong, I sat back, relaxed, and believe it or not, with no further dreams, I lost focus, I overtraded, and I lost everything. This was indeed the worst time in my life. Adversity at this stage hit me bad. To coin a phrase from mountaineering, when you reach the summit of a mountain, it's time to climb another one. I will never forget the mistakes I made. I was now ready to climb again. Failure, by the way, gave me a huge opportunity to learn. And since that time in my life, it's been a roller coaster. I was at this stage ready to dream again. And you know what I did is I came back and I fought harder. I had greater enthusiasm. My dreams were actually bigger than ever, ever before. I learned the lesson that lots of you have learned, that no matter how many times we fail in life, is learn from them and then come back and fight. Too many people don't actually do that. Now, since that, my adventures, as you see here, has taken me right around the whole world, the highest, the coldest, the loneliest, the most amazing places on planet Earth. I have crossed deserts, glaciers, and jungles to fulfill the ambition of myself and indeed the teams that I work with. I have been to amazing places. I have led expeditions to the most hostile regions on planet Earth. I've seen beautiful sights. I've witnessed indeed terrible tragedies. Life has been an amazing adventure for me because I chose it to be. And you have that choice too, to make your choice, to make it the best for you. We can all choose what we want. Now, no, no matter where I have been in my lifetime, including here tonight, I've been fascinated, fascinated about what it is that motivates you, that motivates human beings to go for what they want in life, or need to lead to conquer and explore to become a first and to conquer a continent or indeed to win a match or get a job. Well, my life has taken me all around the world. I live with 32 different tribes of people, from Western Man to the Stone Age tribe of Irian Jaya, learning the traits of mankind and what it is that has driven us. So what I have learned from my life, you may be interested. The attributes of success is the same no matter who we are. If you have a dream, if you have a goal, if you stay focused, if you stay positive, 
Believe in yourself, your goals, you can actually achieve anything. Your dream becomes a reality. Now I'd like you, and I'd like you to tell you the lessons of the attributes that I have learned. And I'm going to finish at that. Dream it, believe it, achieve it, and basically I will tell you, I will guarantee you, if you follow your dreams with a conviction and a passion, you can achieve it. So, can I ask you now to get into your head, what is it, what is it that you want in life? And I want you to hold that in your head as I tell you the attributes of what it takes to succeed in life. Are you ready? Have you got it? Have you all got it in your head, what you want? If you want to think bad enough, you must go out and fight for it. Give up your time and your peace and your sleep for it. If your life seems so lonely and useless without it, but all that you do is you dream and you plan is about it. If gladly you fret for it, then sweat for it, then go for it. But go for it with all of your capacity, your strength and tenacity. If you simply go after the things in life that you want, though tired, gaunt and lonely, and if day after day, day after day, you besiege and you beset it, let me assure you this, you too will get it like the teams I have worked with. Can I ask you just to put your hands like that for a second? Just clinch it. I want you to get it into your head, right, okay, what you've just said. And I want you to call out after me. Will you do it? Yes. I have the power. I have the power. I have the power. Well, I'll guarantee you this, right? If it's a case you believe in that, you are empowered. You will get what you like. On that note, I want to thank you very much. You know, if it's a case that you were just launching or new, you have the power, lectures and seminars, please do come. And on that note, I just want to say, I'm really looking forward. It's an amazing opportunity we've all got here tonight to listen to uh, Dr. John DiMartini, all the way from America with Italian background. His father was part of the mafia, the Don. <laughs> on that note, thank you very much.